We are continuing our coverage of the drought in California as well as the rain that's falling. Now, of course, one big question on everybody's mind is all the rain that we're getting. Is this really going to make a difference? Let's go right now and take a look at the current drought monitor. Now the next drought monitor comes out in two days. And as you see, we're still in exceptional drought all the way from basically Eureka down past LA. Now with me on the phone right now is Jay Familietti. Now he is a senior water scientist with NASA in Pasadena. And Jay, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule today to talk to us. Well, thank you for having me. Well, it's so interesting. The information that you guys released today said that uh, we would need several trillion gallons to effectively get rid of the drought. Give me some background on what you mean by that. Well, uh, what we've been looking at with our NASA GRACE uh, gravity satellite mission, which actually weighs the amount of water that's, that's left the region, um, is that we're, we have a, a quite a sizable deficit of about 43 cubic kilometers or roughly 11 trillion gallons of, of water just to get back to normal dry conditions. Right. Now, here's what's interesting. You say you need 11 trillion gallons, but to wrap your brain around how much that is, I mean, do you just take a big bucket and dump it on California? or I mean, how does that work? Right, yeah. So that, that's an excellent question. And, and one way to visualize how much water that is is to think about it spread over an area. So if we take that, air, uh, take that 11 trillion gallons and spread it over the, the state of California, it's about, it's about three inches of water, which, you know, it doesn't sound like much, but to accumulate 11 trillion gallons of water in storage, which is about one and a half times the volume of Lake Mead, you know, that, that's going to take a few years. Now, when you say... You know, uh, volume-wise, how long would it take to to make all of this happen? All tr 11 trillion gallons make a difference. Yeah, I think it's probably going to take us about two or three winters of above average uh, precipitation to to really get us back to kind of an average uh, average wetness conditions, having enough water in our reservoirs, having the groundwater levels recharged to the point where it's you know, more business as usual and not this extreme drought. All right, this has been great information. And again, with us on the phone just now is Jay Familietti. He's a senior water scientist with NASA in Pasadena, California. And what he was talking about was how much rain it would take to essentially get rid of the drought. He's talking about three inches statewide, not like what you're seeing here with just a few pockets here and there. If you could take the entire drought and get rid of it with just three inches of rain, that'd be about 11 trillion gallons. Of course, we'll have this and more stories on WeatherNationTV.com.